Hey, Mappers, John and Lance from the bench here on ESPN 97.5. Let's talk some Rockets basketball. Tillman Fertitta in a recent interview said that it's Daryl Morey's decision whether or not Mike D'Antoni is going to stay. I see that smirk, Lance. Do you believe? I, I, it's hard to believe after the last time these two left her last season when the negotiations were so public and Tillman was in the middle of them. I have a hard time believing that Tillman Fertitta, his A, you know, type A personality, he's a guy who paid $2 billion for the Rockets, um, was pretty vocal about Daryl speaking out against Hong Kong or his comments about Hong Kong. I have a hard time believing he's just like, I mean, this is out of my hands. I don't. I just own the team. I don't run them at all. That's hard to believe that's the same guy. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you. He's going to have input, as well he should. He's the guy that put all the money out there. He's the guy that's getting killed this year, losing all the money this year. So uh, I I would think – and he's been pretty vocal about it. I mean, he did fly – uh, to West Virginia to talk to Dan Tony. He got him back for one more year, but he said, "Hey, it's a uh, you know what? We're not giving you an extension, and we want to see this year." Has Dan Tony done enough to keep the job next year? Well, I you know I don't know. An extension is a lot. You really have to buy into the fact that the team will buy into him. That he and Daryl will see eye to eye on a lot of different things. Um, I just don't see it happening. But And look, it could be where Tillman Fertitta says, look, Daryl, I'm going to trust your judgment, and I'll, I'll leave it in your hands whether or not Mike D'Antoni is the right guy for us to, to re-up with. I mean, there is a chance, John, that, that he did say that. Um, I, I guess just the thought of Tillman Fertitta taking a big decision like who your next head coach is going to be and saying, well, that's not – I'm not going to have any input on that. That's all Daryl Morey. It just seems strange to hear based on Tillman's personality. And here's another thing is James Harden. James is flourishing just about every year. He's an MVP candidate or wins the MVP. Mike D'Antoni loves him, gives him the offense. Whatever you want to do, James, he's got (coughs) free. He doesn't have to play defense. Nobody does in a D'Antoni system. So they did. They did when a different defensive coach was here, though, John. Yeah, but since then. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so what kind of factor? Suppose James wants him, but 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 Tillman says no. How does that work? I don't think that does work. I think if James wants him, he stays. I think if, if the Rockets finish okay, including you know a decent showing in a playoffs, whatever that may be, just getting through the first round of this this new playoff structure. Um, if James says I want Mike D'Antoni to stay and puts his name on it. I think there is a chance the Rockets would give Mike D'Antoni maybe a two-year deal. Would he take a two-year deal? I don't know. Maybe they offer him a three-year deal. I think he'd be crazy not to take a three-year deal unless at age 69 he just says, I don't want to deal with the NBA anymore. Well, I I, I just think he's on a year-to-year basis, period. Period. I mean, he's 69 years old. Yeah. You're not going to commit to three years to a 69-year-old coach. You're just not. And secondly, he doesn't. It, it, he hasn't done enough in the postseason to deserve that anyway. Yeah, but most coaches won't work off a, a year-to-year deal. So that's what will be interesting to me is it may be irrelevant. If Mike D'Antoni says it's only a long deal or nothing, the Rockets just may move in a different we, direction. But they will move. I don't think no, he'll they, be here. I know they will move unless he wins big. And quite frankly, you know, uh, Tillman wasn't happy with just the Western Conference Finals. He's It's win it all. It, this is not about – Tillman's not – Hey, Dan Tony didn't get an extension when they went to the Western Conference Finals. He's not going to be, well, that was just fine. Let's give him three years. No chance. There's zero chance of that happening. As a matter of fact, I would be surprised if he doesn't win this year, if he's back at all. <laughs>